Let's kick it off. It's going to be Team Slayer on Plaza. We'll stick on board with Pinoy. You know, he, he did marvelous work in that one. We'll see what he does again. His teammate also throwing the 13 bomb. Let's, uh, let's see what they can do. As you can see on screen now, OS top center on Plaza. Very vital and key role, key area to lock down on spawn. You can see both teams pushing for this overshield straight off the top. And whoever gets this uh, first overshield is really going to have to mark the best again. It's going to be Hammer jumping up. He does get second down by the grenade. I believe OS has been burnt. Yes, it has indeed. That's going to be Hammer who picks it up off the first red team, grabbing the first OS. Two people pushing on some snipe now. It's going to be a clean up headshot for Complex. He can pick up the double. That's going to be Crooks helping him out to seal the deal. And that's a beautiful pins there from Panda Gaming. They made sure that they, uh, one team went around the side to make sure they pinch them there and it's not going it's just a perfect halo i love to see that throw the grenades in and go dodge it in the back that's how i go there you can actually see crooks let's move across to crooks to see what he's up to with this sniper i forgot no shield now i'm gonna wait to get it back looking across on the top round just misses the head as he pokes back you can have two people crouching one coming round roundabout one at the bottom of the stairs the grenade are getting hit markers though interesting yeah and they've done exactly what i said they should do they, they've got two guys here at the cinema at snipe and then one person sitting in the cafe sneak as you see and they just put it across across the map little sand just lost his face as crooks is getting call outs from his teammate complex over there looking to two more players on the roundabout trying to get a body shot will he get the headshot yes he actually didn't get the headshot but he still got the kill he's actually from his teammate that's going to be the double kill crooks right now locking down this sniper rifle section and making it his own and panda gaming they're setting up a little mouse trap at the moment they just trapped those guys in that spawn waiting for him to walk around the corner and then boom headshot let's look across at pino you mentioned kind of setting up this this mouse trap section two people up on yellow sneak it blind they're going to be spawning down in the bottom yellow section you got one person over now that's saying, can he go? No, nope. he's going to back off and stay alive again. Look at the scoreboard. They don't really need to challenge kills over and over again, do they? They just need to set up and wait for them to come to them. Now it's just their game. If they hold this control, the overshield's going to be coming up in about 20 seconds. And if they can pick up that next one, this game could really start to slow out of control. Really. They are completely locked down in there at the moment. And Grenade goes in. Does take off his shield, complex seals the deal, takes off one, gonna come around this corner and the player there, let's go across a little sand right now, take a look, he's actually finally spawned away from them, he needs to get out of here, they're locked down at the moment, I really want to see them just push out. Yeah, and Red Team are gonna be knowing that this overshield is gonna be coming up, so they really want to start setting up for it, start thinking about it, but it looks like Crush may have picked it up already. Yes, I I think he did just grab it, however, didn't get any. It'd have been nice if Sand could have actually got some shots off with that gun to take down the OS, but he didn't get the lock on in time. Firing and fires. He's going to get that hit markers on there, so Crook definitely must have the OS, but it's going to be burnt now. Looking up to Sneaky Yellow, putting some shots on. It's going to be Pino again. He's not moved off there whatsoever. Every time we've looked at him, he's not moved off there. Absolute control of the map from that position. He can just he can peek into the yellow, make sure that he can see the spawns, let his team know where they're spawning, where they're pushing. And it's interesting that the red team are just, they're kind of sitting back here and then just slam to the source of the moment. It's just, uh, it's fun to watch, but also, also painful to watch at the same time, Rich. ID and Complex again going huge. Pinai on one kill, but his assists are doing pretty well. He's just gone down on Bathill, let's jump on with him. Let's move across to Crooks. He's still on seven kills now, leading the way as he did in the previous with this sniper section. His teammate does have sniper rifles. They have sniper control again, but the teammates are pushing back. He's got no bullets in that gun, so he needs to change it out. Picks up the Storm Rifle. Let's see if he jumps back in and gets stuck in with that storm. His teammates calling out for help with the sniper. A few shots on the body, a little bit of a cheeky, cheeky move there. One person behind him, didn't see the kill. Can he finish off this? No, he doesn't. He gets beaten down. Yeah, that's unfortunate there. That could have been a really solid kill for his team. And like we saw, we saw some shots in the body there. We don't know the histories of some of these players. There might be some team changes or something that have happened. Might be a little bit of a rivalry. You never know. Swaps out the... It doesn't actually swap out the AR for the BI. Teammate Nick's PR behind him. One person getting caught inside the bit. It's going to be Crooks. Doesn't finish a kill off. It might have been nice to get a trade off there. However, looking at this scoreline, the damage seems to be done. 10 kills to 22 at the moment. Panda Gaming really pulling forward with this one. Gets the perfect kill. Finally gets a trade off. That's going to be slow. Wookie. Let's move across back to Crooks now, who's on a nine spree. And Panda Gaming here, you can see already trying to set up this top mid control. The overshield's going to be coming up again. And if they can pick it up one more time, this could be deadly. He's just camping it, you know. What, what would, you have to look at this point. Look at that. Straight off on time. Bang, bang. Uses the wide wide, instantly shoves it into his chest, bangs it out, drops it down for Hammer, had to unfortunately reload, now that's actually cost him a layer of OS. Yeah, he's lost most of his overshield there, it was unfortunate he had to reload, uh, otherwise he could have pushed around behind and used that overshield to pull it back. He was quite lucky he had that OS, he would have been down himself, gets cleaned up from top mid, without question got called out, let's look across to Slow Walkie right now, pushing on two of them, unfortunately gets 
a sniper bullet to the chest. Let's have a look at Shooter and see what he's up to. That red team is still stuck in the same place. They've not managed to push out. I really think they need to get together. They need to push the cafe and get out of this wall trap. It's just uh, it's horrible to watch. Oh, and as he dives out there, unfortunately, gets another bullet put between the eyes. Looking back to Crooks. I like what he's doing here. Crooks is literally sitting here with his teammate with Sniper behind him. They're not, they're not necessarily moving out of anywhere different. Crooks is the anchor of the boat at the moment, is the best way I put it. And as I moved across to Complex, he actually died. Curse of the cast of that go across to Pinar, who found himself up on top yellow, just laying down some bullets with the BR. Will he turn around and give this guy the hot four? He decides not to. I like this. Every time he's not challenged everything, he's been up there. We've seen it several times. Just holding down this position and keep him locked in that spawn. He's just letting his team know where they are. That's all he needs to do. He just needs to keep putting shots in, let him know that there, that he's there, and then his team can push in from either side and really just clean up what's left. Two people down at roundabout, one down in yellow, finding Hammer. Will he get the hot four? He doesn't. He gets the hot five. He doesn't manage to kill no matter what. So he boosts out of the way. That's going to be a thrust around the corner to stay alive, crouch down. But unfortunately, that's going to make no difference. He does get taken down. Jump back on board with Crooks right now. He's on an 11 spree. Just hit double digit figures. There's three people there. There's one. Well, they're going to get a hit marker. Yes, he does. He knows he's going to be weak. Manages to get a grenade himself. He just backs off. I like that just not challenging it. Nice cam play. And beat the devil. They were doing the right thing there. They were pushing out as a four, pushing to one area. But then they just they reversed their work. They all pushed back into the yellow base and they just got spawn trapped yet again. Three people. Oh, double kill from Pino as we move. He's in there. Base grenade goes down. No hit markers off of that one. Puts one in case he was getting... Just look what he is. He loves this, but I'm actually going to buy this guy a plot of land. Maybe to build some sort of house on. Just call it Yellow Sneaky. Yellow Sneaky, owned by Pino. You have to pay him in deaths to rent it out. Finally, somebody takes him down, but it's looking like the damage is done. Let's move across to Slow Wookie off of the spawn once he's back on screen. Nine kills, almost hitting double digits himself. 22 to 40, 520 on the clock, Dan. Can they bring it back? Uh, red team here, they're just going to be thinking, how can we win this game? We need to take this to game three. We want a chance for these EMA regional qualifiers. Uh, they need to slow it down, push together, and stop pushing alone. I mean, he's on his own now. I mean, he's got a teammate behind him. This is exactly what they need to do. Push his twos, secure kills, and try and make a comeback here. But again, I don't... Ooh, ground pound comes in from the sky. Superman lays down his fist of doom. Crooks seals the deal. Three people over on the walkway. Let's go back to Crooks, as he's got 14 kills now, leading the charge for his team. They want to make it through to the next round. 44 to 23, the score. Little Snare's in the corner, getting caught off guard. One person chasing him. Will he line up for the ground pound? Yes, he does. Look Boom. at that perfect execution. And I'm so impressed with how Panda game, you know, just they're being so patient with this game. Some teams, they might just think, okay, we're the better team. Let's push in. Let's finish this off quickly. But they are not going to take any risks. They make sure they wait for those kills, and they're going to secure this game. I liked what he did there. He knew he was being chased. Jumped up in the air. Turned around. 360. I want to say 360 don't go ground pound into the floor. One more kill to seal the deal for Panda Gaming. Black Snipe looking for this last kill. He wants to find a face and he wants to do it in a, in a fashionable way. Will we see a no-scope for the kill? No, we don't. We see a grenade shooting some bodies and that, ladies and gentlemen, is all she wrote. Final scores, as you can see, Crooks, 17. Big numbers from him. 10 assists, though, from Pino. I've got to say, put it in some... Uh, and one thing I have to mention that we have seen with the latest update, I'm liking these little yellow arrows. The quiet, yeah. the, the, the good, being able to tell people who's on the rise, who's doing the most work at this moment in time. It does, again, another significant thing that's been added with a cartographer's gift. Looking down, as we see, unfortunately, 4 and 10, 5 and 13. They just kind of got outslid, didn't they? And Crux and Pino looking like a great little duo in both games, actually. Both putting up the assists and the score. And I wouldn't want to mess with them at the moment. They're looking very strong. And mm -hmm. I, I look forward to seeing how they progress in this tournament. So, Panda Gaming will advance in the bracket. Commiserations to beat the devil. They they turned up, they tried. Unfortunately, they, you know, they were just, Panda Gaming were just too strong. They didn't Crooks beat the OP. devil.